900 SAT score and 3.2 GPA. <laughs> and she's and here and thriving. Hey guys, it's Mikhail. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a video about what I would tell high school me in the place that I am now. I'm almost done with my freshman year of college and I just think about how I was in it a year ago and what place I was in just thinking about this moment now and like there's so much that I wish I could have told myself that I feel that high school students would benefit from. High school and college are so different and like it's crazy how a year can just change so many things. This is dear high school Michaela from only freshman year, end of freshman year, Michaela. Not a big difference, but these are just some things that I wish I could have told myself. A year ago, April of my senior year, I remember, like, I'll insert pictures of me in decision day, and that was like crazy, but I don't think I really fully comprehended what was happening. Um, I mean, I did understand, I knew I was going to college, but like, I did not think that college would have such an impact on me. In high school, I feel like most high school students can agree with this. I feel like all high school is just anticipating college. I remember saying that a lot my senior year, like with my friends being like, all four years was preparing us for that moment that we walk across stage and get our diploma. Like that's all this was. Um, one big thing I wish I told myself was that do not worry about state tests. Every New Yorker will know what I'm talking about, but like, we, our standardized testing, I feel like was through the roof. We would have a lot and you needed those to graduate. And I remember we would freak out about whether you got a three or a four, four being like the highest thing and like one being the lowest and then having to take it again, which thank God I never had to go through, but I know people did. Your SAT score also does not define you at all. It might define how much money you get out of college, but that score out of 1600 or whatever it is out of ACT, which I never took the ACT, but that does not, does not matter in college. They do not pull out your high school transcript. That's another thing. Remember that time you got a 40 on your chemistry test? That doesn't matter. Something else I wish I could tell high school me. I know a big concern for me um, going from high school to college is that I grew up with the same friends from kindergarten to senior year. I know this is different with every person, but I did not think about like being lonely. I think like, I honestly came to college without really expectations about friendship. Friendships you make here happen for a reason. I feel like the friendships you make here will get deep so fast. At least I found that out that like I feel that I'm so close with people in just the span of a like a year and even it was in a few months that I became super close to certain people and then I think about like at home how it's like a gradual thing but like here it just happens so fast and like you can tell when a friendship is just like so serious and it's just so intentional. I don't think I wish I could have told high school me was I really did not have to join a million and one clubs. I did not have to be the officer for any clubs to get into college. That would not put me at any higher point in college than anyone else. Like, no one here even talks about what, like, societies they were in, if you were in, like, the National Honor Society. Like, what, it does not matter, and don't freak out if you don't get into those things, because things in high school will seem like such a big deal then, and then in college, honestly, there's 95% of the problems I feel like I had in high school I never think about, ever because like, who cares anymore? Um, it's just a different state of mind and you're just more mature about life and yeah. Love your parents because you'll realize when you're here and you're not having your mom's home cooked meal, you're, you, those are things you definitely take for granted. And I don't think I, I don't know if I ever took that for granted at home. I definitely took for granted my mom doing my laundry and like cleaning some things, you know? I find a time to, even like friends at home too, like trying to find a time to like call your friends and like, that's, that's just something I feel like it's given, but like, don't, you know, don't take advantage of anyone. Sports, if you're planning to play a sport at college, then definitely take it seriously in high school. If not, like, I don't really see, I mean, for the fun of it, but I feel like some people took sports so seriously in high school, and now sports is not a part of their vocabulary. I feel like. Okay, that's another thing in, col in college that I wish I could tell high school me is no one cares, which goes into other thing like no one Everyone is in their own lane. It's great. Prom. Okay. Right? Exactly. Like, we forget about prom, which is supposed to be the most memorable night of your life or whatever it is. Like, no. No. Um, 
prom. Don't freak out about how you get asked out to prom. Don't freak out about who you go with, what you wear, because it's fun, but like, those are a few things I came up with. I wish I could have told high school Michaela, but it's okay. We are in the present now. You live and you learn. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys later.